Hi. Well, what's the news? Had a sense of humour, your father? Yes, but not where bank vaults are concerned. What are you doing? You wouldn't have put this in the vault without a very good reason. We've done business with them. It's a bank in Zurich. Hang on. A Swiss bank and a bank account number. Now you really have got a birthday to celebrate. Oh God, the party. Well, come on, we'll have a great time. Uh, by the way, I might be a little late. I've got to go and look at a promising piece of dockland. Oh. All right. Look, I really think you ought to let me look after it. Don't worry, Mark. It's safe. Okay. Keep moaning, Blum. You're not supposed to be here in the first place. Yeah, but it's a brawl, isn't it? It always makes me nervous. I mean, plod with guns, iffy water, sawn off toilets. Looks like we're in for a very pleasant trip, gentlemen. Yeah, I was just saying the same to my you. companion here. Nice looking woman, isn't she? You gave it to who? If you'd all right, I promise. I didn't tell you before, but on the way to the club the other night, I was attacked. It wasn't an ordinary mugging. I think someone had been following me. Anyway, Terry, help me. For God's sake, why didn't you tell me all this? I didn't want you to think that I was imagining things or... I don't know, losing my nerve. He's travelling with an older man, yes? The one who looks like a bookie? Yes. I wish you'd told me before. <laughs> what other views do you have a like by any chance? It's not that I don't trust your judgment. I just think it's a mistake to involve other people. My God. If they found out how much money was involved... You're right. I'll get it back. Look, Mark, you must believe me. It's not because I thought you weren't... Up to it? I'm sorry. Just get the envelope back. No. They could have gone up just now, for all I know. If they exist at all. What's that supposed to mean? And then we'll manage on our own. Okay, darling? Okay. Uh, don't you think I ought to come with you? Well, I can deal with it, really. Okay. Hello. Been rather a long time. You're right, darling. Yes, I'm fine, but Terry's been hit on the head. Oh, really? Yes, really. Look, I hate to say this, but I haven't got it. Oh, did you see anyone? Well, I'm assuming Nicky has had the good sense not to explain the contents of the envelope to you. Nonetheless, you're obviously aware that it's of some value. But, Mark, I think we should... Let me finish, darling. Yeah, let him finish, darling. Now, I would say from the look and the sound of you, that you're the sort of chap who recognizes a good thing when he sees one, even if he doesn't quite understand it. In other words, I'm not at all sure I believe this stuff about someone creeping up and banging you on the head. Really? Well, let me tell you something. From the look and sound of you, I would say I'm the sort of chap you should try very hard not to annoy. Oh, for God's sake, you two. Terry! 
turned on the bus up. Terry, I thought I'd just been in a fight, right? I fell off the train. I thought my time would come, Terry, but sadly not about. I, I wasn't dead, I was alive, and I was hallucinating. I seen Chisholm working in the kitchens, like a ghost. Terry, Terry, I'm sick. I'm sick. Sit down, will you? Oh, please don't shut up. Terry, you might be really ill. Really ill? Listen, while you were getting legless, I was knocked on the head, I was mugged, and young Lockheed Bar here believes we're ripping him off. Well, you were the last one with the envelope. Yeah, some old codger. He not that he wasn't a bit tasty, mind you. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Oh, well, no, it's all, it's nothing. I mean, my reason may be permanently impaired. I may spend the rest of my I'll life... I'll take it now, if you don't mind. ...in Chisholm, in the kitchen. I think you should apologise, Mark. All right, I apologise. Come on, Nicky, let's go. See you back in the cabin. I don't like all this. Well done, young Mark. Your father would have been proud of you. I only wish he was around to see me collect Jack's nest egg. We must drink to have some friends. To my father. Hold it. to a deposit account in Zurich. Huh. What the hell is this? It was there. I saw it. Mark. This is very upsetting. Right. I think it's time for a talk with Jack's hospital. we were hoping to see. I think this man is in important contact with our suspects. Mark, what's going on? You better hand it over, Nicky. You haven't got a chance. He's right. No chance whatsoever. We'll see about that. Come on, Nicky. You're out of your depth, little man. Just piss off. Sit down, Nicky. That's right, Mickey. You stick with your earth. David, you have plenty of time. I don't like being talked at by some top cakey chancer. Uh, no, I tell you, tell you, there's too much talking and not enough drinking going on in this gap. Garçon, large VAT with a red cherry straight up. There they are. They're the ones who robbed us and locked them up. Hello, my dear. Just in time for your nose bag. You must be kidding me. Search their luggage. Now make me sit down. Go on. I get more. I want to front this. Go get the girl. Nicky! Right. Oh! Oh! You vile creature! I am running to post! French cretin. You're right, love. Oh. 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 Oh.